Hey everybody, Curse is here with some more Stormfall Saga of Survival. So, we have patch notes for 1.13. Although, I don't know if it's you know, officially 1.13. It could be like 1.13.5. I don't know. It just says 1.13 in the patch notes, though. So, we're just going to go with 1.13. So, anyways, though, before we get to the patch notes, if you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Join my Discord. Link is in the Discord. You know, description down below and let's go ahead and get started here so i'm just gonna read it verbatim because uh that's what i do so hey exiles we proudly announced something we've been working on for quite some time yeah i know they, like they promised this last month um this update will contain many new features as well as some really pleasant mechanics changes and bug fixes so let's take a closer look at what we've prepared for you adventure quests adventure time this will be a brand new type of questing that will differ greatly from we've what we currently enjoy in order to start these adventures you'll need to have the treasure map the treasure map is an item now um you can get it currently according to this from the daily loyalty right here so it'll be one on one of the days here per week. I don't know how many you will be given per week. Uh, hopefully it's more than one, and hopefully you can get you can find these treasure maps in other locations as well, or at least out of boxes like keys or off enemies like keys, you know. So, anyways, you can get the treasure map can be obtained from the daily loyalty program. There will be three new adventures in total. And you will find them all in the loyalty. Okay, so they all will be found in the loyalty program. So, like, like day one, you'll get the first map for the one adventure. Day two, you'll get the second map for the second adventure. Day three, you'll get the third map for the third adventure. So it makes sense, right? Anyway. Each treasure map will open up a new location on the map. So meaning that, you know, uh, kind of just like with the Christmas event, after you completed the map... Or after you you know you completed the um, the requirements to open up the location, the adventure location will appear on the map. So you know, and you can just go to it and start the start the adventure. Each treasure map will open a new location where the adventure will take place. These adventures, as well as the special locations, will be time limited. So I assume probably within 24 hours you have to complete it. Anyways, uh, so don't miss your chance, Exiles. Same as with regular locations, you'll be able to visit it an unlimited amount of times until it closes. Movement, speed, deaths, and all other details correlate with the general location rules. So in other words, you know, uh, going to it or... Uh, you know, traveling to it and dying at it, same rules apply. Anyway, during adventures, you will also face new NPCs, new enemies, and new locations. Be creative with your tactics because some of the quests will have alternative ways of com alternative ways of completing them, which is, sounds pretty cool. So there'll be alternative ways, like maybe just differing paths you can take to get to the boss or complete them or kill the boss or whatever but we'll see you know uh you know not a lot of detail but but i think it's enough detail to get us hyped for this so that's pretty cool uh so adventures adventures are gonna be a thing now it's gonna be really cool something i can post a, a video on three days a week uh so i'm uh, looking forward to that now, the next change is going to be the premium program. That is currently um, this right here down, down at the bottom, the premium rewards for the five-day list. Uh, instead of five days now, you will be able to choose from seven or 30 days, which is going to be nice because this is a little too, five day, $5 is a little too expensive for the current rewards. Uh, so, uh, so definitely needs to be changed. Anyways. Starting from update 1.13, you'll have access to the premium program that will provide you with the considerable boosts, such as 50% experience boost, which is nice, 
a 25% uh, plus 25% repair efficiency boost, a plus 50% to faction reputation gains, a plus 50% to challenge points, Ch plus 50% to challenge points. Are they talking about... Um... Yeah, okay, yeah, I guess they're talking about um, clan missions, right? Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Um, anyways, uh, minus 25% visibility for your exile. So in other words, what this means is that enemies have a, enemies that have a bigger range for, uh, aggroing on you, that range is 25% smaller. Plus 25% hunger and thirst and HP efficiency. So in other words, I think what this means is that, uh, items will give you, more uh, hunger and thirst when you use them. And even the ability to get the smuggler's rewards without watching the ads. So yeah, you could go to the smuggler here and just click the button and boom, you get your uh, get your rewards. So that's pretty cool. So it's kind of like uh, paying to remove the ads, which is fine. Uh, they, they already don't put a lot of ads in the game. So uh, I guess paying to remove them is kind of silly, but uh, at the same time though, it kind of goes along with uh, you know, the whole premium reward system. So it's not bad. These boosts will be active for 7 or 30 days accordingly, alongside what you currently enjoy. Postscript. All the players who had their premium loyalty, pro loyalty program active will instantly receive the unclaimed rewards, plus they will receive the new premium program for 7 days. So if you ha already have this bot and you're on like the last day, you'll automatically receive the last day's reward and you'll get the seven days premium for free. So, or, you know, it'll just upgrade to the seven days premium and you'll get that. So that's pretty cool. Challenge chests update. Try new daily quests. Oh, challenge. Okay, those challenges. What it means then is, um, is uh, rip, 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 these, these challenges. Anyways, uh, try new daily quests and earn rewards easily with our streamlined user interface. Accumulate quest points to get powerful reward chests. We've decided to remove the cards system and now there will be daily quests instead of instead of them. They will be refreshed at midnight UTC time. So I I don't know sure what they mean by cards system. This right here, I guess. I'm not sure. Well, I'll have to wait and see what they mean. Like the change will obviously be probably uh, uh, obvious when they make it. So. Auto battle. Now this is a uh, a function that has received a little bit of flack, but also a little bit of praise. So I'm gonna tell you where I stand on this. I actually I am on the side of the praise for this. I don't see auto battle as something that should be receiving flack, and I'll tell you why here in a second. So auto battle set the game to auto play to defeat enemies and collect resources automatically from 1.13 update. Your exile will be able to auto collect resources on the locations, even if there are still enemies. If the enemies attack the exile, he will fight back. And then, when the enemy is killed, he'll continue to gather resources. The only things you'll need to make sure you have are locations have. The only things you'll need to make sure is locations have resources to collect. You have free slots in your inventory, and you have the needed tools to collect the resources. Just like usual. Except now you'll need to make sure that your health and weapons and armor are equipped. Another exciting thing about the auto battle feature is that your weapons, armor, food, and drinks and healing will be switched and applied automatically as well. That's actually pretty cool then. If your hunger or thirst drops below 25 points, food and drinks will be applied from your inventory. If you have them, uh, if you have them there. Same with the health, but the healing food items will be applied if the health health drops below 30 points. Um, 
little note to the dev. I think that you should uh, allow options in the auto battle interface uh, to allow us to select a threshold for health items. Like, because sometimes if you get surrounded and you don't notice it, you know, if you're just looking away or you're, you know, you're doing whatever, you know, reading your, reading your porn magazine or something and, you know, you, your guy gets surrounded, you know, 30 health might not be, uh, be a good place for the items to automatically uh, be used. So, just saying. Anyways, so I, I think, like, being allowed to set a threshold for that would be uh, prudent. New enemies. Now, this is something uh, I find very cool. New enemies. Since you'll now have the new adventures, we've decided to add some new rivals for you as well to make them challenging. For this, be... For this, comma, be careful fighting with these strong and extremely dangerous creatures of the eastern marshes. Swamp goblins. Dark swamp goblins. Orcs. Lava golems and giant lava golems, ice golems and giant ice golems, and the 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 teased in the past, the powerful spider queen. So yes, the spider queen is here. We will be able to see it, fight it, do it, all that good stuff. Effects on the locations. Beware of locations that afflict your exile with increased thirst or curse points. Again, some of the new adventure maps will create harder conditions for the exiles. Be ready for the increased curse points while visiting swamps, and be prepared yourselves for the fact that volcano and lava dungeons will make you extremely thirsty. So in other words, you'll probably lose like two, uh, two points of uh, uh, thirst per like attack or something. I don't know. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll see when we get there. Like I'll, I'll talk about it when we get there. Interesting features. Remember, you've asked for an option to hide walls in the construction menu? Now you have it. We're adding, so, so in other words, uh, when you go, you know, into the construction menu, you can now hide your walls so that you can, uh, so, so it looks cleaner when you're trying to add new stuff or move stuff around. So it's pretty good. We're adding some new levels of the cursed forest location and a new dungeon level. So in other words, inside the catacombs, there will be a new level to go into. And in the Cursed Forest, there's going to be a new uh, new level to go into in there as well. Which probably, like, it doesn't say it here, but that probably means elm trees. Don't quote me entirely on that. They Like, um, Sna Moderator Snake didn't say if elm trees are included in this update, but they did tease that when they made the Cursed Forest update, that elm trees would be included with this. So I'm assuming the new Cursed Forest level means elm trees. So let's, let's hope that assumption is correct. And let's see, new undead animations. Ooh, I like that. And the daily loyalty program updates, which were already explained. Uh, let's see, there's some bug fixes. Let's talk about bugs. Let's see if I've ever experienced any of them. Split personality issue fixed. Split personality issue. I, I'm not sure what that means. Object is too far error is fixed. I think I've experienced that once or twice. Fix the issue with the faction rewards. Now you should be able to collect them without any problems. I never had any problem collecting faction rewards, so I don't know what, what, what people were having an issue with that. Fix the issue when you couldn't upgrade the workstation having all the needed materials. Never had that happen, but I'm sure some people have. Uh, rewards for several clan missions have been improved. Ooh, okay. Fix the issue with the 500 server error while trying to leave the clan. Never had that happen, but I haven't tried to leave my own clan, so I don't know. Adventurer's trousers are now displayed correctly on the player. Really? <laughs> Never had a problem. Uh, what else? Fix the issue where some players on low speed internet couldn't collect the rewards after watching the ads. Um, I don't think I've experienced that, but what I have experienced is that I'll just, you know, click watch for a reward. 
and the the ad will start playing just fine. In fact, it'll be just fine, but then all of a sudden the ad will abruptly just close, like by itself. Like I wouldn't close it, and I wouldn't get the reward. But maybe that's just a an error in the ad system. Anyways, and that is all of it. So let me know what you guys think of the new changes coming. Like I said, I'm pretty sure new Curse Forest lo um, level means elm trees. So hopefully that's a good thing. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, do all that cool stuff. And as always, thank you everybody for watching. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.